All right, so this video is going to cover um, the beginning, the first section, the organization section of expressing your opinion, which is chapter six of First Steps in Academic Writing. So if you want to open up your book to page 149, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the this is the last style of paragraph that we're going to be writing, and this is an opinion paragraph. Now, the, the general structure of the opinion paragraph is going to be very similar to most of the other paragraphs we've talked about. Uh, we'll, we'll have a um, topic sentence, and then we'll have our supporting sentences and our concluding sentences. Um, but the purpose of an opinion paragraph is to one, give an opinion, and we'll talk about what an opinion is, and then give reasons that support your opinions. Now we're going to use a variety of different um, things to support. Um, we'll use reasons, but we'll, we also want to make sure that we're using some facts as well to support each one of our reasons. Um, and then we're going to end up with a uh, concluding sentence. Okay. But let's look first at the, the difference between fact and opinion. So you can see on here that when we talk about opinion, what we're saying is this is a statement of someone's belief. The basic definition of an opinion is that um, it, can be, it can be argued with. An opinion is not 100% true or 100% false. Different people can think differently about it. A fact, on the other hand, is, is a true statement that nobody can disagree with. It's something that is completely true and is not something that you can argue about. In, 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 in that case, it's not an opinion. So if we take a look to, at, at these two examples here, we have one says that the sun rises in the east. That's a fact, right? nobody can say the sun rises in the west or I don't think that that's right okay because it is it is a fact but the sunrise was beautiful this morning is an opinion because maybe I didn't think it was beautiful uh, maybe I thought it was very ugly um, maybe I didn't think it was it was that good so um, I can have a different opinion on that so that that's the difference between um, a fact and opinion on page 149 it gives you a bunch of other um, examples the same the same way um, where it gives you facts and opinion so I recommend you take a look at that you're going to need to make sure that you include both facts and opinions in your paragraph so let's take a look at this sample paragraph that is on page 150 and you're going to need to answer the questions on the model at the bottom of the page okay so let me go ahead and read this one aloud and then I'll talk a little bit about it we'll talk more about it in class um, so the title of it is Video Games and Violence. So in my opinion, violent video games are harmful to young people. First of all, playing these games can cause changes in the behavior of young people. According to studies by psychologists, frequent players have poorer grades in school. They are also more hospital, hostile and act more aggressively toward their teachers and classmates. A second reason that violent video games are harmful to young people is that they make young people less sensitive to violence in the real world. Real world. The games make it fun to shoot and kill, and the line between play violence and real violence becomes very, um, very thin or disappears entirely. 13-year-old Noah Wilson was stabbed to death by a friend who often played the violent video game Mortal Kombat. Noah's mother said the boy who stabbed him was acting out the part of, of Cyrix, who, was a who is a character in the game. A third reason that violent video games are harmful to young people is that they teach players to use violence to solve problems. If classmates tease you, don't try to work it out. Bring a gun to school and shoot them. An extreme example of this kind of thinking resulted in the Columbine High School Massacre. Two students shot and killed 12 classmates, a teacher, and themselves at Columbine High School in Colorado. The two young killers were fans of the game Doom and Wolfenstein 3D. For these three reasons, I feel violent video games are harmful to young people and should be controlled or, even better, banned. Sorry, it looks like I cut some things off there. 
All right, so if we take a look at this, this paragraph, we'll notice that it starts off with a different kind of topic sentence. It starts off with a phrase that says, in my opinion, and we'll talk about these phrases that you use, but this phrase tells the reader right away that this is going to be an a, a opinion um, paragraph. Um, we see that, that, that there's three reasons in this one. The first one is introduced with first of all, the second one is introduced with a second reason, and the third one is introduced with a third reason. Okay, um, and what we should notice is that these each of these reasons is supported with opinions and facts. So some of the facts that are in here are things like 13-year-old um, Noah Wilson was stabbed to death by a friend. That's a fact. Um, Noah's mother said, the boy who stabbed him, she said that she said she made that quote so that quote is a fact the columbine high school massacre that's another fact um the description of these two students um this is a fact as well the fact that they played these video games all of these are facts that help support um support the reader's point um so so um, what we'll do in class is we'll go through and we'll break this one down in a little bit more detail. But go ahead and answer those questions at the bottom of the, of the model. So then let's look here just quickly on page um, 152 at some of the new transition signals that we can use. So the first transition signals that I have up here are transitions that you use to state an opinion. So these are the um, these are the ones that you're going to be using in your topic sentence. So we have four different ones that we can use. From the paragraph we have in my opinion and what we should notice there is that when we use in my opinion we do use a comma. So in the example it says in my opinion comma everyone should be allowed to own a gun. Similar to that is the one in my view right that one we also use a comma so if we look at the example, it says, in my view, everyone should be allowed to own a gun. Same idea. Um, and then we have these last two, I believe and I think. And what we notice is that both of these ones, we do not use commas. Now you'll notice that it says, I believe that, and I think that, and the that is in parentheses. When something is in parentheses like this, it means that it's optional. You can use it or not use it. So in the first example, we see, I believe that everyone should be allowed to own a gun. Or we can say, I think everyone should be allowed to own a gun. So we can use the that or not use the that. Okay. But one thing we want to keep in mind is that in these ones, we don't use a comma. There isn't a comma there. So then let's look at the next, the next transition here. And this one is to give information from an outside source. That mean, when you use this phrase, according to, what you are doing is you're saying, um, someone else said, whatever you're going to whatever information you're going to give so you say according to and then the person's name or the magazine's name or the newspaper's name and then you have a comma and then you have the fact that follows that so this use this is used to introduce facts so if we look at the example it says according to Gregory comma his mother never wrote to him or sent him birthday cards or according to a story in Science Today magazine, comma, the Earth is becoming warmer. Okay, so this one is something we can use to introduce facts that are said by someone else or something else in, in the case of a newspaper. And the last one is a new way to write a conclusion for our paragraphs um, that that um, that we can add to the ones that we've already learned. So we can say for these and then give the number of reasons that we've given and then use the word reasons and comma so the example here is for these two reasons comma I believe that pesticides are harmful okay so um, take a take a look at uh, at the book 
Um, I might skim through the, there's an article that's actually kind of interesting that we'll talk about on page 147. If you take a look at that, that may help you. Um, and then bring any questions that you have to class, and we will be doing a lot of the activities in the book in class. All right, take care. See you in class. Bye.